Journalists, Democrats, immigrants, women, African Americans, to the long list of people our new president doesn't seem to like very much, Donald Trump recently doubled down on judges. His undisciplined assaults on the bench have liberals shocked and dismayed, but there may be some method in this particular madness. Judges and courts sit at the top of the GOP hit list. Just cannot believe a judge would put our country in such peril, Donald Trump tweeted after the suspension of his immigration ban was upheld on appeal, describing as a so-called judge the guy who'd suspended that ban in the first place. After that, POTUS went one step further, targeting not just the person, but the process. Quote, if something happens, blame him and court system, he tweeted. Now, it is true that the Donald brings to judge hate his own particular prowess. As a candidate, remember, he asserted that the judge presiding over a fraud lawsuit brought by former students of Trump University had a conflict of interest because his family was of Mexican heritage. His actual word was Spanish. It's taking things up a notch to go after the courts with the power of the presidency, but discrediting the bench is nothing new. Disparaging judges and their decisions on potentially profit-costing things like consumer protections, climate preservation, and civil rights has long been GOP policy. Activist judges, Republicans blame, for just about every lost profit or power they've ever suffered. The RNC platform itself says all sorts of horrible things about the court's decisions on marriage and choice. And then it goes on to urge Congress to, quote, use the check of impeachment for judges. President Trump's leading with his chin, you might say, and getting plenty of establishment flack for it, but he is hardly a rogue boxer in this controversy. On the contrary, he's softening up a target the Republicans have long wanted to whack, and just in time for Supreme Court confirmation hearings.